The Ford F-150 pictured here literally jumping for joy probably because uh, a new all-electric version is coming. I know we've talked about it a few weeks ago, but now uh, somebody took a picture. Uh, Brian Williams of, I believe, trucks.com took a picture of a camouflage uh, electric F-150. I'm going to show it to you, but most importantly, let's talk about what does it really mean? What does it mean for Tesla and Rivian and everybody else who's uh, coming up with an all-electric truck? Because I believe that's... That's going to be sort of really, really a good test for this electric car movement. All of this is coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, well, uh, it better late than never. But at the same time, you don't ever have to be better late than never because there's a subscribe button there. Uh, it's free and that way you won't miss anything moving forward. By the way, let me give a quick shout out to one of my newer Patreons, uh, Franklin Mendoza. Thank you so much for joining my Patreon community. That's the only place where you can watch me live, uh, obviously being the first uh, uh, viewers to uh, watch my videos but most importantly thank you for supporting my independent channel without you guys of course it's going to be much much tougher uh, if you want to join my patreon community the link is in the description of this video all right let's talk about the uh, ford f-150 i i just uh talk briefly with the Ford's PR person. Uh, they really don't have any information for us still. They just said, listen, it's going to be Ford tough. That's what we want to make sure. Uh, we want to make sure that it's still the good old F-150 that everybody used to. Um, and and I totally understand. I, and I think that's kind of the whole point, right? Uh, that this electric cars need to be at least as good as the, as the gas cars, but probably should be better. We've been talking about it for a long time. Now, here's a picture that um, uh, Brian Williams, I believe the works for trucks.com is kind of tough to to credit this photo but i believe that's uh the the publication he took this picture i don't know if it was on private property because i guess when he was describing it he said that he couldn't get it from a different angle obviously there's a tree in the middle of it um so like why not walk out and take a picture from a different angle or maybe i don't know uh if when I, whenever i had a chance to do uh something like this i tried to get in there as much as i can um Almost getting arrested a couple of times, actually. So, uh, yeah, commitment. But, hey, that's what we got here. Now, uh, let, let's be realistic here. Obviously, it's electric just because, I mean, as you can see, um, it's charging. And it looks like there are, you know, batteries underneath there. But let's talk about what, what, what really to expect. And what does it mean with, you know, as far as Rivian and uh, Tesla is concerned? Because Tesla, you know, Elon says that it's a big, new, exciting thing, toy that he's he's uh, playing with right now uh, before uh, we analyze this picture let's uh, let me just remind you guys that this video and this channel is sponsored by the starman gift um, i got my copy of the adventures of starman right here i encourage you guys to get yours before that of course browse to the description of this video where i have a discount for this and many other items um, that they have in their store and if you want to relive the launch of falcon heavy that is an amazing way to do it, trust me. And of course, you can get it signed by Elaine Burton, who is the creator of this series. Okay, so uh, obviously uh, the, the, it's charging. I don't know, okay, I, I'm not a big fan of uh, charging, you know, charging port being up front because a lot of times, well, I personally like to back my car in uh, simply because uh, it's easier to get out if there's traffic. Also, my dash cam, um, you know, I kind of want my better resolution dash cam to be up, up front to see the traffic because usually if somebody hits you, that way it's better to capture the license plate. Um, and just overall, I think you like, I, I like backing up into the garage and parking spots, but it's a preference thing though. I think electric car owners um, kind of prefer that as well. Let me know in the comment section, do you guys go in uh, front end or you're, you're backing that booty up? So let me know. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm the booty man. Um, so not a big fan of that, but I mean, to be honest, as if we look at the bigger picture, <laughs> pun intended, I guess, uh, this is their like even older version, I think of the, for this is obviously kind of a, a mule, a test truck, uh, that they just putting all of this stuff on and just testing it around. Like don't even think they bothered to cam camouflage the whole thing. I think they were kind of camouflaging it from the bottom up and go like, ah, forget it. Let's just, let's just get on the road already. Um, so this is not going to look this way. I don't know if charging port is going to be there as well because you know, it's all about 
as you know, the legacy manufacturers, uh, they, they're trying to make an electric version of uh, something that they're already making in a hybrid and, or, or gas version, which is understandable. Therefore, the, the motor has to be a front. And a lot of times it's a front, you know, front wheel drive because that's just easier to make parts and just use the same production line. So if that's the case, maybe the charging port will stay uh, on, on the front, but hopefully not. And by the way, I hope it's CCS. I could not tell from this angle whether it's CCS or not. Doesn't look that way there, but okay, we'll see. Uh, obviously, it's a fast charging uh, uh, station because the cable is fat, and that means that there's a lot of thermal cooling there going on. So that's good news. All right, so now underneath there, as you can see, um, it's a little more lifted than normal. By the way, it's not like I knew about this. I actually had to read it. That is, I guess, a little bit higher than normal. Because they, you know, they just kind of put the batteries up there. Uh, I'm assuming to test the stability of the truck, and just probably that's, you know, there's only so many places to put it. It's underneath on the top of the truck, right? So, uh, or, no, or maybe in the flatbed. Who knows? But that's, I mean, uh, that's a smart, a smart decision, uh, uh, obviously. So, um, interesting to see uh, this being tested right now. And most importantly. It is very important. It is very important for our community and for this whole electric car revolution to know that, you know, all good American boys, football watching, you know, kind of dudes who usually go like, eh, electric cars, I don't know. Every time they think about electric cars, they think about a Prius, and that's not really a good sign. But, you know, hopefully now they think uh, Tesla, hope now they think Rivian and many other exciting electric car projects. And hopefully now they, they, they think that, hey, man, maybe I can get behind this. Maybe I can have that kind of torque. Maybe I can don't have to go to the gas stations, you know, uh, four or five times a week because it takes a lot of gas. So I hope a lot of benefits that electric cars are all about, and um, hopefully there's still incentives by them, uh, will start appealing to the Sonyans. By the way, these trucks are not really that cheap, if you don't know. Like, they go into like 50s and sometimes $60,000. Like, you can literally buy a BMW for that type, uh, type of price. So there is wiggle room there as far as pricing is concerned. Like, these trucks, they can, they can be up there in price, which, of course, brings me... Well, brings me to turn my phone down, of course, but uh, but also brings me to that point. Obviously, you know, Tesla has been talking a lot about their possible electric truck. But, you know, as you know, Rivian has been kind of already doing it. I've, uh, you know, that I've been there unveiling during the like, auto show. Um, their social media is kind of like uh, full of, of, of activities right now, mainly their vacation in Aspen. That's what they're kind of showing. And I'm gonna, I don't know if it's an automaker uh, Twitter feed or, or, or a family vlog, but it looks pretty cool. Um, they're definitely uh, they're definitely having fun, which is, I guess is kind of important for us to see. Uh, the, uh, the automaker is not being in production hell, but rather than enjoying the process, I know they're working very hard. You know, I talked to RJ on camera for you guys, uh, you know, at, during uh, during their al unveiling. You know, he has, he has a, you know, few kids, but now he has a baby on his hand and he's doing it all. Um, and and it's it's amazing. But you know, Rivian, I would say right now is pushing, you know, everybody, including Tesla, including Ford and others, uh, uh, into this. Hey, let's make an electric truck. We've already done it, and it looks pretty cool. And by looks, I don't mean necessarily looks. Not everybody's like really that excited about the front, I think. But as far as the specs, the specs look amazing. And the technology, I think there were a few uh, articles out there how they did really, really awesome job on their battery cooling, uh, and therefore the battery density density could have been not not could have been, but they were able to get a 25% uh, uh, down. So that, that all of this is exciting stuff. So um, back to this the, this 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 baby. Um, kind of a monster right now, but hopefully it will be an electric baby very soon. Uh, let me know in the comment section when do you think. A real electric car from Ford or other legacy manufacturers um, can actually make it on the market. How many miles does it need to have? How much torque does it need to have? Uh, you know, uh, what is the pricing? Will people pay extra, or the price has to be kind of in the same in the same uh, range as it is right now? I'm looking forward to your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time, and remember to stay charged.